Hello and welcome to my second uh, desert unboxing from Warlord Games, released uh, today, which I picked up from uh, Lost Lock Games in Stevenage, my local shop. The British Eighth Army, World War II Commonwealth Infantry in the Western Desert. Thirty plastic figures. Usual uh, Warlord artwork on the front. And on the back, we get the usual spiel about what the box contains, what we can find inside. So we've got Lee Enfield, Thompson, Bren, Boys Anti-Tank, Wibbly Pistol and a 2-inch mortar. Um, with options for Sikh, Punjabi, Yus Yusufzai and Scottish Highlander heads. Bit of blurb on the British 8th Army in the Western Desert. And uh, some... Uh, colour suggestions for those that use Vallejo model colour, such as I. So uh, hopefully I'll have those colours as and when I get around to painting them, but that's another story. So let's have a look at uh, what we've got inside the box. So, usual uh, information sheet, giving some uh, examples of the uh, Sikh soldiers, Scottish regiment, some painted examples. And on the back, the usual uh, blurb <coughs> telling us what all the bits are and where they go. Sprue of bases. Uh, no decals with this one, so Mira, I'll pack this one again. And I've got the five... Um, for the five prone figures, five uh, a pill or ob uh, what do you call them? Not oblong, uh, rounded oblongs. Anyway, the, the word the word has escaped me. So we get one, two, three, four, five, and uh, these are all exactly the same. Yep. So let's take a look at one of them. So much as the Eighth Army, we get. Uh, Four standing figures, one kneeling figure, and one lying down. So, all wearing shorts. Some nice detail on the, uh, the socks and boots. Now let's have a look at the arms. So we've got the Bren. We've got the mortar. We've got a couple of submachine guns. We've got rifle. So we've got two double arms there. Uh, we've got the Bren on a single arm. We've got the pistol. We've got uh, some rifles, one shouldered, one carried. We've got the anti-tank gun. We've got a couple of sandbags 
Uh, loose sandbags, I guess that's the anti-tank gun to rest on. I've not seen those before on the sprues. And some uh, single sandbags. We've got a pickaxe and we've got some ammo container. A shovel. Not sure what that is. Let's uh, have a quick look. So, what's that? Uh, 41, which is right arm with officer's whistle. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. There's our officer. And we've got some equipment. So we've got a pistol holster, water bottles, ammo pouches, backpacks. Another backpack. And then we have some heads, and let's have a look. So we've got the uh, Tamashantas. We've got the... Well, let's take a bit more time to look at those faces. So we a guy, Scott's guy, smoking a fag. Yeah, the Scots look quite mean. We've got the helmets couple with the netting, four without. We've got some turbans for our Sikh soldiers and we've got some alternative turban types for our Muslim soldiers. So four, we could put four different units on the table depending on what uh, helmets or heads we add to the figures. So some nice uh, choice there. So, uh, all in all, uh, usual Warlord uh, configuration and standard. And uh, I think that's going to be quite uh, a nice little addition. I quite fancy uh, doing at least one unit uh, of Sikhs. They look quite nice, don't they? And maybe I should do some... Uh, Tamashantas for my Scottish heritage. Anyway, um, I can see the need to buy um, another box of that to uh, have some different units of uh, the four different types. So that's uh, the British Army, a British Eighth Army, a brand new uh, Warlord figures out today. Uh, thanks for watching.